Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, it is like 3 in the morning right now. I thought that my camera was charged. It wasn't, of course. And I did my makeup, so I'm just like, I don't want to not make a video after I just did all of this work. Ugh, God, even like, you know, I did like a daytime look and then switched it to a nighttime look. So it, I'm like really annoyed that my camera wasn't charged. So I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes and of course it takes like forever to charge. So what I did first was I did a daytime look. You can see it on my Instagram, makeup by talk with K. Um, then what I did was I went in, I added um, a little bit of a kind of smoky-ish look. And then I added some really long falsies. You can see them. I love long falsies. And then I'm going to close my eyes and look like a weirdo. But if you can see uh, the color I did, I got that palette in the mail that I was telling you about the other day. The palette that has like 250 um, eyeshadows. So I'm like super excited. And then I got, remember how I was saying that I can't do my eyebrows like everybody else because I that weird thing happens when I cut them. Well, Milani has this awesome brow stuff. Um, it's like a little cream and it's making my eyebrows look like everybody else's that I've been wanting forever. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I don't really have a topic for today. There's a few things that I kind of just want to talk about a little bit, but not really anything specific. Um, just because it's really late and I'm tired. This is probably going to be a kind of short one, but who knows with me because I always say it's going to be a short one and it ends up being like freaking two hours or something. Um, first thing is I want to talk about why girls can never get along. Like seriously, why can't girls get along? It's a really good question. It's like, if you get into an argument, and you're a girl, and you get into an argument with another girl, you just say, like, the meanest things to each other, and it's like, why? Women should be supporting each other. We should be helping each other be better people, better mothers, better wives, better everything. Even being better at being independent women. Instead of depending on a man. Hold on one second. I'm going to pause this because I have to delete a video. So give me one second. Okay. So as I was saying, why are women so mean? We need to be supporting each other. Um, we need to not be fighting with each other, arguing with each other. We need to support each other. We need to help each other be become better everything okay not calling each other names calling each other bitches calling each other bad moms calling each other this that the only bad moms i'm gonna see is somebody who is like i don't know not taking care of their child they're like don't even care about their children or something like that um other than that you are all great moms okay you're all great women even if i don't like you because we had a fight or something you're still you could still be a good person maybe just not to me okay but why do women do this to each other it's like we're not in seventh grade anymore okay we're not in high school grow up and we need to support each other okay um i want to talk about that then i want to also kind of talk about um i want to raise awareness to domestic violence. I know that this kind of somewhat ties into that. Um, sorry, my voice is a little scratchy. Um, if you are in a relationship with a man or even a woman who is physically abusive, please leave. Please. I know that you're scared because you think that they're going to come find you or something bad is going to happen. And I'm going to say this. I have been through this before. 
Um, so I'm not just saying this. Like I've said before, this is all based on my life and things that I've gone through. Um, please make sure that you leave because you never know when that last time is going to be the last time you're ever going to see the day again. Um, I know that you love that person. I know it's not easy. I've been through it. I know what it's like. I know when they say sorry, you think they mean it and you really think that it's not going to happen again. It's going to continue to happen. It really will. They need to get personal help before you can have any type of relationship with them. They really do. They need to get help. They cannot have a relationship without fixing whatever their deep-rooted problem is. So, for those of you that are in that situation and you're scared, please find help. Please find somebody that can help you get through this, that can help you move, that can help you get away from that, especially if you have children. Please, if you have children, please get away from that. It's not easy, and I know it's not easy, it's not going to be easy. You may go back. You may leave forever and never go back. But it's not worth your life. It really isn't. I can't even tell you how many times that I went back before I finally left. It was probably like a hundred times. And, you know, I'm not going to say any names. Um, obviously, um, but I really want everyone, not even just women, I want men to understand also it is not ever okay for you to put your hands on a woman in a negative way at all. Women, it is not okay for you to put your hands on a man in any way at all, like in a negative way. Obviously, you know, if you guys are having fun, that's different. But, you know, it's not okay. There are women out there who lose everything because they're in a relationship where that person is abusive and they have nothing. They don't have a job because they may not be allowed to have a job because of that person. They don't have money. They don't have anything. There are so many women that are homeless because of this. They have children. And these guys go to jail for a couple months but yet somebody who has a little tiny bag of weed on them goes to jail for years not that I'm supportive of drugs okay I'm not I'm not saying that I'm just saying that the way that our system is is just crazy um I don't understand it I don't understand how somebody could be abusive and hurt somebody and go to jail for that little amount of time but somebody could have I don't know a pain kibble, pain the pain pill on them and go to jail for 10 years how does that make any sense like do you guys get that am I the only one who thinks that's crazy there are rapists and murderers walking on the streets right now because maybe they had a lot of money and had a good lawyer and they beat their case. That is insane to me. And it's scary. It really is. I'm scared for my son to go to school, like I've said before, because of all these school shootings and everything like that. And my heart goes out to anybody who is in any of these situations. It really does. Because I don't know what I would do if I was in any of that those situations I really don't and for you to go through that you know you are just I, I I don't even know what to say but I want to say please get out of that and it's not even just physical abuse it's mental abuse too you can be in a relationship where somebody is mentally abusive and they are calling you names all the time they are 
telling you that you're a terrible person because you won't pay for something for them or do something for them or anything like that. Get away from them because they are toxic and you don't need toxic people in your life. 2016 for me is this year where I'm just going to get rid of all the toxic people. I'm going to repair all of the relationships that I need to repair that are important to me. And I'm really going to make this year a good year for my family and myself. Um, you know, I really want everybody to do that. Um, I want all women and men, because there are men who are abused by their wives. I know it sounds crazy, but there really are. And, um, you know, women aren't the only people who have to go through domestic violence. Men do too. Um, I want to say one thing. If you are ever in a situation, this is my personal opinion. Please, please, please do not think that I'm a doctor or I am skilled in any of this. But if you are in a life or death situation, please fight back. Don't give up. Don't give up because there are so many people that give up and then they are gone. Fight back as hard as you can in especially for your children if you have children they need you because they cannot be around that person they cannot be left with that person do whatever you can to get away from them if you have to move to another state there are so many programs for women that can help you i actually saw something on the internet the other day that if you see a woman with like a black mark like a like a black circle on her hand that means that she is a victim of domestic violence and she needs help, but she can't do it on her own. And there's a lot of reasons why you can't do it on your own. And I'm going to explain that. One is because you can't, may not be able to call the police because that person is watching you at all times. And if you do call the police, they will hurt you. Um, another reason is because you may not be ready to get away from that. And that's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but it's okay. Because you may really love that person. Whether they're hurting you or not. The person that I was with that did it to me, I really did love him. But enough became enough. And the problems that we put his family through and everything like that, I regret terribly. Because I feel like his family should have never went through that or saw that, or had to deal with that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not perfect. I started a lot of fights too. Um, you know, I'm not going to get into that because that's a very personal thing and without the consent from that person, I'm not really going to get into it, especially out of respect for his family. But um, there's a lot of ways that you can help them. You can call the police if you see them out eating and you see that mark on their hand. You can call the police for them. You can, if you see bruises on somebody, you, especially children. You know, um, children are all the time victims of abuse. That is the saddest thing for me. I, it drives me absolutely nuts when my friends post things about children who are abused on Facebook. Please stop if you're one of my friends or like block me from that post. I don't want to read about children who are abused. I really don't. I don't want to like see photos of poor little children that have been abused. Now, if it's a photo of the guy who got beat up because he beat up his wife or daughter or son or whatever, then yes, I do want to see that because you know what? He deserves it. Okay, I'm like, I don't like seeing that stuff anyways. I don't even like seeing abused animals. I don't like that. It's, I know that people are trying to raise awareness, but there's different ways to raise awareness than to show a picture of an abused person or an abused animal on Facebook. Like, you don't need to do that. That's really annoying. Um, I know this, like, might seem a little bitchy of a thing. I'm really tired, but I'm, like, getting kind of, like, hyped up about this whole like domestic violence thing and because I really want this channel to be more about helping people than about makeup because makeup and all that kind of stuff is so superficial and so 
like vein and this and that now yes i do do my makeup before i do these videos because obviously i don't want to look like crap on camera um and i do tell you a little bit about it i will do to do a tutorial here and there but my main focus for this channel is to provide information to people help people understand different situations to basically just help people um so yes yeah, so you can call the police <clears throat> you can you know maybe pass them a little note if they like need help give them your phone number if they want to call you um or if you can like look up really quick on your phone like a hotline that they can call because there's a lot of places um i actually read this online there's a moving company that was actually created by men which i think is great it was created by men that um help basically what they do is they find a time where the boyfriend or husband or the abuser um or if it's a woman even the abuser is gone they come really quick move all the stuff out you your kids your clothes your whatever is yours and take it and they take you i think to a shelter or like a certain living place or something like that i don't know the name of it um i will try to look up the name and i will try to post it in the comments because if you are a victim of domestic violence i would love for you to get help um again i am not a psychiatrist doctor anything like that i am here if you want to talk i am here if you are in that situation and you need help and if you want me to provide you with the resources to get help i can do that for you um you know remember email me at talkwithk at yahoo.com um nobody woman or man or child deserves to be abused deserves to be hurt deserves to be mentally broken down you do not deserve that you deserve better you deserve everything in the world you deserve everything you really do love yourself you really need to love yourself and it's really hard for you to love yourself when there's somebody that's hurting you. It makes you feel terrible. I'm not going to cry in this video because I've been crying in the past few videos. But my situation was very bad. I'm glad that I got out. And I want to help other women get out of that as well. Um, or, and men. Um, I'm sorry, I keep saying women because generally it is women who it happens to. Um, remember that they need to get help. And I have to cut this video short because the battery is about to die. Um, thank you all for listening. Leave me some comments or questions or anything like that. My battery is really about to die, so i got to go. Um, please get help. Email me talk with k at yahoo.com um thank you all for listening make sure you subscribe hit the thumbs up button you deserve better love yourself you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else remember that protect your children and protect yourself and get out of that situation thank you all so much thank you all so much um, okay, seriously, it's about today. Get yourself out of the situation if you can. Email me, leave me a comment, whatever you need to do. All right? I will leave some resources down below. Check those out if you need help. Thank you all so much. Subscribe and thumbs up.